<laughs> so, yeah, I feel like this. And it was the only <laughs> illustration I can think of. Um, today's not been... Uh, today's not been the easiest of days. Um, and honestly, I feel undone. I feel so freaking bloated. Um, I don't feel pretty. I feel like a hot mess. And my natural instinct is if I don't feel perfect or peppy, I like to hide. But... <laughs> Welcome to my illustration. So, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the Lord wants me to kind of uh, chronological, not chronological, that's dealing with numbers. I don't know. But, you know, kind of document this as this journey goes. And it may very well be that none of this is cancer. And I am just heading for menopause. And I may need a hysterectomy. I may not need a hysterectomy. Um, but I'm going to tell you what I cannot wait for to stop happening is lady time. That'd be great. That'd be, hey, God, can we, you did that to that woman in the Bible, you know, can you help me? <laughs> um, and the bloating, I think the bloating is what has me the most self-conscious, um, my stomach, like, as soon as I eat something, I look like I've swallowed triplets. It's crazy, and I don't feel pretty. I feel pretty ugly, honestly, and I can't believe I'm sharing this, but it's been a hard day, and, you know, like, yesterday was my wonderful date with my husband. We went to one of the local hotels that we have been wanting to go to forever, and what happened to me? <laughs> I flared up and I swelled up and we were in a two-story beautiful suite and they only had one bathroom. I did not know this when I booked it. Do you want to know where the bathroom was? Upstairs. Do you know how hard it is to walk? It wasn't even just one flight of stairs to go like that. You walked this way and then you had to walk this way and then I think we turned a corner and we walked that way so every time I had to go to the restroom <laughs> and then going down like that and um that was just like I don't know so I've been sitting here today and my day has consisted of two major agencies so I can get insurance dealing with this agency and dealing with this agency and they're not communicating and then they're telling me, well, it's their, you know, it's on their side. No, no, the issue is on their side. And then today somebody said, well, can you fax us this form? That's the first time that I've been told to do anything. And guess what happened? I was so happy. I was so relieved. I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> and then I went to go fax them. And their fax machine is so busy. I've tried four times and four times. It got kicked back. I was just like, God, I, I'm tired. Lord. But you know, God knows what is ahead of us before we even get there. And it was really cool. I was doing, uh, coordinating a virtual summit last week for my um, Girlfriends and Coffee networking group, uh, which, by the way, little plug, if you're a Christian woman who has a business and you want to be around other Christian women who have a business, let me know. I'll get you into my Girlfriends and Coffee Christian networking group. So anyways, I was coordinating this summit. This is before I even knew anything was going on in my body. And I've always wanted to have a monthly membership group. And just the thought of building a community and not always, and I'm launching this, okay, now I have a new program and I'm launching that. And now, 
weeks later or months later, I'm launching this. I, I just, one of my mentors said it so greatly because she was feeling kind of like the same call of having a monthly membership. She was like, it's low cost for those that join and you're continually just building rapport with these people and you watch your community grow and you just keep building this rapport in this relationship and i was like oh my god i want that and so here we are last week and my summit's kicking off the speakers are doing great and i feel in my spirit the lord said it's time march 1st launched a monthly membership and i was so excited because i've been teaching for years and so like every month we have a designated thing um, that I'm teaching them and I'm breaking that month's topic down into weekly tips, videos, worksheets, like it's my love language. And I got really excited. And then last Thursday came. And then I'm told, Shannon, something showed up on the imaging. It's, it's possible it's going to be really bad. Um, you need to get an MRI stat. And then I go to the female doctor and she's like, you absolutely need an MRI and I'm going to have to biopsy you. And by the way, the only way, because <laughs> you're a girl and girlhood is not for the weak, <laughs> the only way to get to said part that I need to biopsy is travel down the rabbit hole, we'll just call it. Um, and... I was just like, I was devastated. I was like, but I was so determined to trust God because he saw me through it twice before. And then I got really like, I, I, because of the membership group, I'm like, it's helping me because I have something to look forward to and find something. If you're going through a hard time, Maybe it's maybe your your hard time journey is not cancer. Maybe it's just you feel like you have been single forever and you're like, God, where where is he? Where is he or where is she? Or maybe your hard time journey is finances. Maybe your hard time journey is you feel like you don't have a lot of friends, you feel misunderstood or whatever. I want to encourage you, create something that you can look forward to. And usually that entails loving on other people because our life is bigger than just us. And, you know, I, I have such peace with this journey. I am determined to praise him if these biopsies and all that is a negative. I'm determined to also praise him if it's positive. I'm in my father's hands. He knows every hair on my head. He knows every hair on your head. So your difficult journey, I don't know what it is. I sure would love for you to allow me to pray for you. I can tell you that. But my best advice is to find a way to love on people. Find something that you can create to help make things easier for others and it will help get your eyes off of you and your difficult journey. And also, don't hide. I'm not saying you have to come on Facebook Live with an illustration of how you feel on the inside. <laughs> if God tells you to do that, though, I'd probably do it. Um, but don't hide. I think especially as Christians, we feel like if we're not presenting this perfect church girl, church boy, cheery attitude all the time, then nobody's going to want to hear about Jesus. But I relate to the ones most that they see you. I relate to the ones most, the most Christians I relate to. This is what I'm trying to say. The most Christians I relate to are the ones that allow me to see them bleed. The ones that allow me to see that their life is not perfect. I cannot relate to you if I feel like you've got your crap together. Because every time my ducks go in a row, damn it, one gets out of the way and goes rogue. <laughs> and that's life, though. That's life. So don't hide. 
don't hide, especially if you're a woman. Be bold, be loud, be proud, be a hot mess. You're his hot mess. And nothing, nothing on your journey is going to be wasted. Because he is the Romans 828 God, right? All right, so I love y'all. Just continue to pray for me, please. I, I'm trying to get these two big agencies to talk together so Shannon can finally have health insurance. Um, and, you know, Paul and Silas praise God in the prison. So whatever God's will for me is, if this cup is not removed from me, I have to go down this journey again. Whatever his will is, I want to be an example of his love. I, I, that's the biggest prayer. Is that beauty from ashes will come out of this. That I'll be able to lead people to Jesus. That, I will, that his joy will be my strength. And I know nothing will be wasted. And I am his. And he is mine. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for watching this. <laughs>